Now, I know Paul, Paul Murray, would express it differently, but stuff like this really infuriates me. It's not the place of local council to come out and pass a pro-Palestinian resolution, particularly when Hamas started firing 150 rockets in a single day into Israel that kicked off this whole thing. We do not pay councils to do this sort of stuff. Our rates are for roads and rubbish. And rightly, the Jewish community of Melbourne is ropeable. I'm now joined by Aaron Shapiro from the Australian Israel and Jewish Affairs Council. Aaron, thank you for your time. This stuff must drive you bonkers because it really annoys me because I bother to find out what the truth is. Well, Corey, I, I have to agree. The local councils just shouldn't uh, involve themselves with foreign policy issues. And it's kind of embarrassing and, and also annoying at the same time, but it reflects very poorly on them. And uh, if I were living in Yara, I'd be pretty upset. Yeah, the big problem is, though, it does get some column inches. I mean, we've given it some attention tonight to, to show how discredited it is. But it perpetuates this stereotype that Hamas, which is, you know, linked to terror outfits and, and uh, others, uh, are sort of the victims of Israeli aggression, where Israel is simply protecting its own citizens. It is identifying and highlighting that Hamas is throwing up rockets from civilian populations, using them as human shields. What is Israel supposed to do? What would the Yarra Council do if someone started firing rockets into there? Well, that's a great question, Corey. You know, uh, Israel uh, has to deal with a, a lot of it, things that are affecting all of its citizens. A Arab Israelis have been killed in this conflict in the, from Hamas rockets just in the past few days. Jewish Israelis, as we know, foreign uh, workers as well. This is uh, something that affects everyone. And um, when they bring international politics into their local councils, what they're saying is that some of their residents are preferable over the feelings of others. They take uh, sides in an issue they have no business getting involved in. OK, Aaron, before I let you go, how has this sort of thing resulted in expressions of anti-Semitism uh, for the Jewish community, particularly in Melbourne? Well, you know, in just in the past 24 hours, we've seen uh, Jews attacked in places like New York and Los Angeles. And uh, Jews have been threatened uh, uh, when they say that they're going to come together this weekend to support Israel. They've been threatened on social media as well. This is a very disturbing trend. And what everyone should be doing is calming the situation in, uh, in places like Australia, thousands of miles away from the conflict, not bringing the conflict here. That's just insane. Yeah. Aaron Shapiro, wise words. Thank you for joining me tonight on Paul Murray Live. Really appreciate it.